and welcome back to Boyfriend Dungeon. We have been slowly like making our way through the story a little bit and and making our way through some dates. So I'm going to be going on a date with Isaac in this one and we're going to Mission Sondrogo. And I'm very curious why we're in a church because I know at some point he told us like, hey, we should go see a fencing match at some point. The church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training place. Does it? Right. Daddy Isaac. Hmm. You're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower or faster, or try a new parry direction. Surprise is the spice of life. And fencing. Go on. Take a stab at it. Throw your weapon! Just this is now a spear. Right. Yes. Just like that. Perfect form. Just lovely. You have perfect oh. form too, sir. What? I'm, I'm not even wielding. Oh, you mean. Oh, I literally meant form. I'm sorry. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, let's resume. You practice parries and lunges for a while. Nice work. You even have me sweating. I'm just getting started. You launch into a new duel and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every thrust, easily knocking them aside and scoring on you. You're amazing. Isaac pauses to take a breath. And you're a flatterer, madame. But I'll take it. Thank you. I suppose regular practice has its advantages. Besides, just exercise and re relieving aggression towards my father. I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Yeah, we're lover rank two. Thoughtful repost's timing is more forgiving. Repost knocks enemies back further. Get them the frick away mm -hmm. from me. We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? Give me, give me that one. He takes off his fencing jacket, looking around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. Was, was your mother a ghost? She wasn't, she wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like, but she did get some things right. She came for the community, mostly. But I took it a little more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life, Kona. Some people suffer, others become swords. Mm -hmm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? I do, but I don't, like, set myself in any particular religion. Then you understand, I hope, the allure of something greater. Our beliefs are probably quite different, but at least we can agree that love is power, not just not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. I do agree with that 100%. Like, love love is not just bang them and hang them. It's, it's you work on it. You have to put effort into mm. it. I like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity we believe in, or don't. There are so many suffering people. I want to help them all. Exactly. Love is hard work. I know you. I know you like talking business, and I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. <sighs> He releases a long exhalation, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. Why don't you stand up to him? Is he a businessman too? We all have our bad days. Is he a saber? We all have our bad days. 
Indeed we do. Though I'm not sure his stresses excuse his callousness. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to go into the dunge, even when you're afraid? I just plunge in. Oh? We go in and we just keep trying and trying. Eesh. I tried that with Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. Yeah, but you were a teen. You had the words, the mentality, the emotions of a teenager. You're an adult now. I think I still have a scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. Oh no. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than to go on the offensive. A crowd starts filtering in. Oh, perhaps a service will start soon. Oh? Oh. Out of time already. How it flies. Next time I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Yeah, I have bourbon! I have bourbon for you! I knew it! Oh, what a nice brand! I made it myself! I'll have to make you an old fashioned sometime. I don't like old fashions. The bitters are gross. Good day, Gona. Be well. Here's the thing I love bourbon. Bourbon's really great. Do not like old fashions. I'll be in the sanctuary of San Drogo. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? Give me the eggplant. Uh, I want to answer his question, but also, like, you don't need emoji. Old fashions are gross. Okay. Let us go to the dungeon. Isaac, you are a beautiful soul. Almost got you another date, but I need some info. Oh, no. Be honest. Would you rather get to know a guy who's buff or sweet? Swords only! Uh, more info, please. Ah, okay, okay. That's fair. Name is Jonah, and he's the best. You date him, then. How do you know? We used to date a while back. Way before Samantha. He was really fun. He'd be a good friend, I think, no matter what happens. I'm in love with someone else. I don't want to date your ex. Will I meet Samantha? Yeah, the best is not a good description. And why are they upset? So, like, the whole premise of this game is that you are with Jesse for the summer. Um... And basically, your mother was like, hey, he's never been on a date before. Can you help him out? And so Jesse feels like it is his duty to reach out and help you get dates. And like something kind of cool that the game does is they emphasize the fact that technically you can just do platonic relationships. Like if you want, you can just make friends with everyone. But at the same time, there are so many things that like if I was doing a platonic route, what would they change for this you know you know but yeah that like we're, we're given the idea that jesse jesse is essentially the uh the moving force in this game sure we will meet jonah talk to you soon i don't think i can craft anything I think it's time we go in the dunge. Yeah. Which floor? Let's start with five, because I have this. And I wanna I wanna try using the controller. Uh my brain is very Bad as... Verona Mall has seen better days, huh? LBRB.
I like running a lot better. this oh yeah mm, ice cream want some my treat it's the same choices mm -hmm. mm, maybe I should indulge too tastes like summer or at least the idea of summer summer here in Verona Beach is a bit too much if we were outside this would probably melt before we could even mm. eat it where would your ideal summer vacation be all right, the more you watch me play, the more you want to play. It's good. I, like, some stuff in the story gets sketchy, but honestly, I think I'm going to continue trying this. Hmm. Fried mackerel. Thank you. Really. I guess we got to get back to work. I can feel a sugar rush coming on. Ooh. So I'm not gonna s I'm not gonna say I'm faster, but at the same time it does feel smoother. Less crunchy. Ooh. Bowler hat. Heck yeah. Oh, there are two. This was a challenge room? Roll. I gotta remember to roll. Oh, weirdly enough, too, I also, like... I feel like my brain can think a little bit better with this. I don't know if that even makes sense. But basically, it's like... If I'm using the controller, it feels more like autopilot. Jacket, yes! I mean, I really like my purple bomber jacket, but leather jacket. Oh yeah, uh, so... As I have just put up on a uh, chat, uh... Right now, I think until August 26th, there is a sale going on on Humble Bundle for the Jackbox games. If you would like to have the Jackbox games, and I do believe that it is everything except for the most recent, Jackbox 7, um, you can use my link, and it'll still cost the same, which all of the games are $20.05, like, and total. You, you pay $20.05, and you get all of the game, all of the Jackbox games. Uh, if you do that, oh no! Uh, if you do that, oh, oh, I used that wrong. Then you can get all of the Jackbox games, and I will actually get some money too. Do not feel pressured to get this at all, but just like a cool thing if you didn't know about it. Humble Bundle is amazing. I've actually gotten a lot. Right? Very worth it. I I have two of the Jackbox games, and actually, um, what Troll and I are planning on doing is basically... Ooh, I love the amount of confusion. That's awesome. Uh, basically, so that I can have all of the Jackbox games, Tural is going to order it, but then, like, I'm gonna use the codes. And what I'm thinking is, some of the codes that I... like, the games that I already have, I'm just going to have those as giveaways in the future. Oh, which reminds me, like, so... Extra Life does amazing work, first and foremost. Red Rose. And 
this weekend they are showcasing like tabletop chair tabletops done for charity and so i want to put something together oh huh Ooh. reminiscent of steinland but even more poppy and mainstream probably just a lazy knockoff but it's possible the artist is no knowingly commenting on the commercial placement It'd be nice if the piece were both pretty and honest. Car what? What Carcassonne Knight? I'm sorry. Uh, they're both important components, wouldn't you say? In art, of course. Both are essential. <laughs> <laughs> you're just agreeing with me, coward. You and me, we're doomed if you're a liar. Even just as friends. But I do think that! I guess we'll find out sooner or later, huh? Yeah, that's as far as I can go. Draw a tile, build a map, the meeple game. I don't know that one. It sounds interesting, though. Oh my god, I love the sleepy time scene. The tabletop night, so you went to board game. Okay. Good game with friends, and you can buy a digital version. Awesome. This, what are you? A night helmet. That does sound fun. I don't... I mean, especially if there's an online game, you could absolutely do that for this. Uh, but basically, like, Extra Life is doing this thing where if you raise up to 150 or at minimum $150 for charity in tabletop gaming, uh, you can get this really cool looking dice set. And so it's one of those, like, first of all, I have not done a charity on my stream yet, just I haven't felt like... It's gonna sound stupid. I haven't felt like I was big enough, you know, to, like, make it worth it. Uh, and also just... I hadn't had any experience putting a tabletop stream on my... Uh, on my channel. Now I have! You did it, you got the game. Oh, thank you! Next level. Thank you very much, Hot Wheels. I, I hope you enjoy the games. I can't- I cannot wait to see you stream them. Because I follow you, right? I follow you, right? I feel like I did when we did the Among Us games. But I could be wrong. I also love the Jackbox games. So, like, I- we do, a uh, tabletop homebrew on every other Sunday. And for the most part, we we knew each other from other charity things, one shots, a bunch of things. But there were some of us in the group who had not met the others or who had only met them like once. And so in order to help people get to know each other, we did a Jackbox Games night like two nights before we actually did the stream. And it was, it was so fun, and it helped, it really helped to, like, showcase our humor and ex expectations, you know? Like, basically, we were able to... I remember there was this one that... It was such a niche joke that I know that if I had done that, like, just with the general population, they would have been like, eh. But because it was this specific group of people, they were like, yes, that is the funniest shit I've heard. You don't know. You think you did. Jackbox is a great- It is! It is. Uh... I think all this does is gives you, like, a gift-giving opportunity, which... I think she's leveled out right now, so- ooh. No, it was- it was a stupid thing where it's like, what does... Frick, how did it go? 
Oh, Trivia Murder Party is great. I am a big old nerd who knows stupid facts about stupid things. Oh, dang, that was quick. It was something about, like, what... The worst part about Dracula was the fact that he made his, uh... It's not familiar. His thrall, whatever those are called. Uh, he made his thrall do this, and I said, listen to how he was the victim. And it killed him! But I know that if I had said that to other groups of people, they would have been like, mmm. Jackbox is so good. This is so much faster with the gamepad. I'm sorry. I should have been doing this the whole time. Boom. So I guess one one of my issues with this game, as far as like the whole you're leveling by dating, but also by dungeon diving, is that I feel like you do not level up your weapons quickly enough. And it might be one of those, oh no, oh no, oh. I'm invited to his 4th of July. Okay, so you and a plus one are invited to the 4th of July barbecue tomorrow. It's gonna be Valeria. Jonah really wants to meet you. And he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. You gonna invite anyone? Walk away for two seconds and I, I know. I'm sorry, Dax. I need I need the power of your love to be able to get through dungeons. <laughs> Otherwise, I just die. Uh, so really weird that Joan is like, I'm very interested in this person. Doesn't matter if they're already dating. I am inviting someone. Tell them to bring something. See you tomorrow. Bring something, like, I don't know, bring, bring a house plant. I don't know. I'll explain some things. Yes. I hate it when they give me these kinds of things. All right. Wow. Here's a hint of where to find me. It's the park! Okay, I don't think I... Ooh, I can craft that. Bike helmet, night helmet. Aw, oh, bowler hand. I need more fabric. Let's make us a leather jacket. It's not bad. I have seen worse. Let me look at it on my body. I like the bomber jacket better, but thank... Excuse me, but thank you. Yeah, let's 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 hear like what's up. Cause I also want to make sure that she's safe. <laughs> Larry is sitting on a park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she sees hey. you. Oh hey, you came. I'm really glad. I wasn't sure if you would after how things ended. I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. I don't regret our time together. Not one bit. Um... I wish I'd been... I don't know. You seemed angry. This, the, the hilt was very rough. I was. Not at you. You can explain, but... The sound of loud quacking interrupts her. Ah. Shut up, ducks. Can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feeds ducks at the park. I'm not, because you shouldn't give bread to ducks. Good. 
I hate their beady little eyes. Oh no, you just hate ducks. And don't get me started on those snapping bills. This is a very strange thing to hate, Valeria. A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck. Got too close with a piece of bread and then... Valeria snaps her fingers. That was the sound of your fingers? <laughs> Gone, just like that. Uh... Yeah, I would understand if it were geese. Geese are mean. Ducks? I mean, they're not always great, but they're... Uh, that's, that's scary. Valeria's lips twist into a rueful grimace and she sighs. Okay, I may be exaggerated, but only um, a little. And... Oh. Promise not to laugh. Didn't happen to a friend, it was me. She holds up her, like, figure- or her head, and she's just like, It happened to me! Valeria holds up a hand, showing you a faint scar on her index finger. I could kiss it better. She extends her hand. You look into her eyes and kiss the tip of her finger. Yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> She shivers, and you slide your lips down to her palm, her wrist. I think I think whenever the screen like does that black in the background, I think that's like, hey, sexy times. Fingertip kisses. After a long moment, she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. <laughs> you're you're good at that. The sound of loud quacking interrupts your moment. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. <sighs> Whatever will they think? They're gonna think I'm a hussy. I want to offer her a gift. Yeah. You decide not to give a gift for now. It's not gonna do anything. Next time, we'll go on a date without the risk of duck. Rank three. Attacks do critical damage to confused enemies. Nice. Huh. We were talking about something actually important before. Right? That escalated real fast. Like, I I was initially thinking just like, I'll kiss and make it better. Mwah. Uh, that'd just be, a, you know, stupid. Just be a silly. And then it went very, very, very full. Oh. Very full. Oh. Uh, and yeah, uh, as a reminder, there is a content warning with Boyfriend Dungeon of, like, there are elements of stalking, there are elements of emotional manipulation and unwanted advances, so make sure that you are practicing, uh, self-care, self-help, and, uh, you know, leave if you need to, do what you need to. Right, I remember. I was going to awkwardly explain Jake. Good morning, Jen Jen. So, I don't know if I want to do you don't have to or I'm listening. You don't have to uh -uh. if you don't want to. Okay. No, but I want to. So that guy, right, who keeps showing up, his name is Jake. I dated him for a couple of years, um... and uh, dated his sister as well, at the same time. I mean, they both knew. Oh god, that's weird. You dated siblings? I barely dated anyone. It's- mm, you dated siblings? Trust me, it was even more work than it sounds. We messed up a lot at first, but we learned. Got better at being together. I was young and in love, and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me, three artists against the world. Like, on purpose? Hot Wheels, did they do it on purpose? We were everything to each other. We had the same goals, believed the same things. What things? Tell me more about these things. On purpose. Oh no. That sounds very confusing and like weird boundaries, maybe. Larry is very pretty. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great, Hot Wheels. Beauty and love. What else is there to believe in? Ah, the bohemian ideal. But 
Jessica wanted more. More recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. Right? Uncomfy. Uncomfy feels. I moved to Verona Beach looking for a fresh start. And Jake followed me. I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person. Really? Uh, you argue a lot. I was in a three-way relationship with him and his sister. We broke up acrimoniously a few months ago. Are you surprised we argue a few months ago? A few months ago, madame? It's a complicated situation. I'll give you that. <sighs> Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot following us around and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him to back off for real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Here. A beret! I saw it in the museum gift shop and thought of you. <laughs> I can't wait to try it on. You don't have to wear it. But you'll look dashing if you do. I'm sure. But you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. Yeah, the smoking guy was her ex. And that ended a few months ago. Like... Uh, uh, fear! You know, my paintings. If you want it. Yeah. <laughs> then it's a date. I've had new inspiration lately. Ciao. I'll look forward to seeing what you think next time. You have a lot to think about, and as you leave, the afternoon light fades into evening. Yeah, right? We need a little bit more time. Like, I... A year. A couple years. Who do you invite to Jesse's barbecue? Nobody. I mean, of these three, it's still Valeria. Like... Well, no. Isaac... Isaac... Oh, but I feel like Isaac would feel so uncomfortable. I don't want to invite Sunder, no matter what. So Valeria, she accepts and says she'll meet you there. Wait, I want to put on the beret. On the way over, you pick up something to share. Soda, cheesies, or cake? Cake. You worry it's not good enough? Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Cake seems like a safe bet. Everyone likes cake. You find Valeria waiting outside Jesse's house. Hey, stranger. Miss me? Miss? Um... Uh, it, so it's... It's been a... Uh, it's been... It's been 30 minutes. Um, so... Uh, we're, we're gonna... We're, uh... We're gonna end the episode here. And we will start the next episode... ASAP of the barbecue and all of these things and I will see I will see you next time bye <laughs>